Hello YouTube and welcome to my very own channel where today I'm going to be playing Chronicles of Teddy. Uh, this game is actually the sequel to another game that I played before which was really really great. I love that game called Finding Teddy. It's a point and click adventure and was actually very engaging and interesting. It had a very interesting musical aspect to it. And... Anyways, this is the sequel. I'm very excited to see how they did, because apparently this one is a lot different than the first one. Oh my, the spider! The world of Exodus is inhabited by monsters and ruled by King Tyrant, or King Tarrant. The Sovereign rules over the land with an iron fist and has no friends. Aww. As for the monsters, they have lost their joy and the sadness that now guides them. Oh jeez. Well aware that no one will befriend him again in the land of Exodus, King Tarrant decides to open the gate that connects the, the kingdom to the world of men. Perhaps he could find a friend there. The gate, which has remained closed for thousands of years, opens into the bedroom of a little girl sleeping peacefully with her teddy bear. Tarrant thinks that this bear would make an ideal companion, still and lifeless. It cannot judge this malign king. Feeling an unimaginable joy, Tarrant returns to Exodus without closing the gate connecting the two worlds. When one the little girl realizes her teddy bear is missing, she passes through the gate to look for him. Oh jeez. After a thousand and one adventures, she finally manages to find her teddy and even befriends the lonely king Tarrant. Yay! Despite this, he brings the little girl back to her back to her world. But he now knows that beyond his kingdom, someone is thinking of him. The years pass, and Tarrant, thanks to his experience, manages to regain the love of his subjects. Ah, oh, that's awesome. But such harmony fuels the hatred of some <clears throat> of some of his more malicious subjects, like Anguis, the magician, who decides to usurp Tarrant's throne and take control of his kingdom. Oh no. After a fierce battle, he manages to defeat Tarrant and take the crown of Exodus for his own. To prevent the monsters from finding refuge in the world of men, Anguish seals the gate which, is, which Tarrant has used in the Library of the Worlds. To reopen the gate, you must find the four crystal eggs and return them to their rightful places. Oh, only these eggs created by Tarrant can can produce energy or produce the energy needed to reopen the gate between Exodus and the world of men. To keep this from happening, Anguis uses his dark powers to trap the crystal eggs in the great books of monsters, and has hidden these books throughout the vast library of the worlds. And with that hateful act, the reign of, this, of the sinister usurper Anguis begins. However, Tarrant's soul still exists, and has somehow made its way back into the world of men. Finding himself in a dark room, an object catches his attention, a small teddy bear that brings back wonderful memories. By taking possession of this empty, lifeless form, Tarrant hopes to be able to con communicate with those around him, and most of all, meet his old friend again. Oh, that's so sweet! Tarrant was, uh, the, the beginning there was actually the, the primary story of the first game. So, yeah. If any of you guys want me to play that, just, uh, ask so in the comments. Oh. Oh my. No more video games. I'm not actually moving. Oh. Um... I just have those in, in my toy chest? Every little girl's gotta be pre prepared, you know. Yeah, look at the poster. Yeah. But what if I wanna play more video games? Oh, oh my. Yeah. Um, all right. <laughs> oh my, I need a drink. So I take it this kind of basement is, uh, normal in this house. Hello, Mr. Teddy. Yay! Okay. Hello, Mr. Teddy. You follow me around? Angus took control of our world and we have to stop him. He is currently going to the library. Hurry up! Mm. Ooh. Ooh, a 
getting stuff and having a big number go up on the side. Shiny collectibles! They make any game go round. Oh, a lot closer. I love high resolution. I don't need you! wasn't even trying to hurt me. That's what makes them more fun to collect. Ooh. I can make the screen go down. Oh no! I can also die! Sorry. 
the evil wizard witch thingy. The bad guy. Okay. Wow. He's got his high resolution capabilities. Oh, let's go. so sadly I'm going to have to cut the video here. It's running a bit long at this point. Uh, tune in next time where I still won't have the audio fix yet. Uh, thanks for watching.